Joakim is full of charisma. He show love to everybody. He's a down dude. If he ride with you through the fire, he's gonna ride with you forever. He was an incredible competitor. He had a lot of toughness, huge basketball IQ. He played with such passion and emotion. I mean, you fell in love with that right away. He touched the city in a different way. Like, a few of my friends, I'm not their favorite players on the team. It was Joe King Noah. It's like, ah, <laughs> well, I couldn't say nothing because that's big bro. He always said, I play for that guy who's with the broom up there. That's him. And that relationship was important to him. So all those efforts that he made on the court had meaning to it. If the heart is with that effort, it makes it more meaningful. I think Chicago is very real. People recognized in Joachim something authentic. The love was real, the hustle was real, the intention was real. All that stuff that makes Chicago, Chicago, brought forward by this team because they had a very authentic relationship to each other. It was very deep. Once I ended up getting drafted by the Bulls, going into it, I really didn't know what to expect. You think about egos, and Joe was the total opposite. Nothing but love, right from the jump. I felt like he was the anchor to everyone. He was the vocal leader. He was the one that everyone kind of looked to. Many times guys got hurt. He was always there, always bringing them up, be riding with you, keep your head up. But his, the way he tells you it, it just makes you like, it brightens your day. He's all about like helping the other person or how can you help a situation that day or whatever it is. He was never about himself. He was always about the team. He was always about how he could make those around him better. He always had my back defensively, even offensively. He always looked for me, always encouraging me to perform to a high level. I'll never forget that game six against Boston. It was a hard fought game. It was my first time in my career where it was do or die. Spikes to a screen. No one off it away. Galloping with Pierce. The place just went crazy. Just be able to dunk on him to force a game seven. It was unbelievable. I'll never forget that moment. It gave me confidence for the following years to come. Given big moments, you know, he played to win. No moment was too big for him. Walk inside. He picked good examples of veterans to follow in terms of his communication defensively. He got great at it. You know, he held himself accountable. To put that sort of effort and energy and want to in a defensive end, it's a sacrifice to want to win. And that's what Joe Kim is all about. He became a great facilitator and a guy that people loved playing with because he was such a good passer for his size and he could handle the ball so well at his size. It was defense really picked up and helped this game. And he was just able to play that .5 type position and occupy the ball at the top and find the right guy and make the right pass at the right time to get some buckets. He maxed it out right from the jump. So if you're not even competing on his level, he's gonna kick that night. And not only that, you're gonna hear about it. Just his energy and passion is just so infectious to teammates and fans. Joe wore his heart on his sleeve. When Joe would make a big play, he just let it all out. He turned simple energy into skill. His joy for the game, his enthusiasm and his commitment to it actually transformed itself almost into a high level of skill that you couldn't have scouted or imagined. I remember the game that he had at Brooklyn. People don't realize how hurt he was. You're hoping for the best, but we were under man. Noah, oh, he banks it home. Good teams always had that one play that you always knew that you needed him to be healthy, even if you lost the other object. And Joe King was always that one guy. Noah just looks better and better as this series goes on, as he's overcome this foot injury. His motor was just incredible. Beautiful pass from Noah. The way he started that game gave the team great belief that we could win. Having Joe behind us at the center row, we know that no matter if we lose or win, we're going to have a good fight. Noah with the step and stuff. 
We've been through a lot, a lot of adversity, and to be able to win a game seven like this is huge. And we just wanted to make the city proud, you know, make Chicago proud. That was our whole thing. When you meet Joe, you're attracted to him right away because of his personality. Joe always accepted everybody for who they were as a person because his heart is genuine and it's sincere and it's real. He is, to me, the most genuine player I've ever been around. There's no phoniness to that guy, and I, I think that's one of the things that, that our fan base ended up loving about him, so what we loved about him. He's just a selfless individual. He always puts himself in a vulnerable place. He's just always had an imprint on the city, and he connected with this city because he never thought he was better than anybody else. He said, Mom, we got to give back. We have to do a foundation. I, I think it was important for you, Akim, to give back. We had an opportunity with this platform, and we went for it. And I think that was really important for him. Noah's Ark Foundation that he started with his mom, Cecilia, was incredible. Like, he cared so much about the kids and everything that was going on in the city, the violence. His foundation's still around. Like, he still comes into town and he still cares so much. People in Chicago realize that he, you know, he, he was more than just a basketball player. He was someone who cared about the community, someone who was going to do his best to make a difference in this world, and he has. The indelible mark that Joakim Noah has left on this franchise and this city will last for generations to come. Well, now being here in Chicago, you can see and feel how much the city means to him. Loyalty, respect, doing the right thing, sacrifice. Joe Kim Noah, I mean, he stands for those things. You know, that's why he's so beloved in the city, and that's why I love him. Joe Kim, congratulations on a very well-deserved honor. I'm very proud of you. Sticks, my brother, congratulations on an awesome retirement. True first-class individual. I appreciate all the memories, all the battles, brother, as you deserve it. You put in so much work. Enjoy this entire man, brother. Peace and love sticks on a hell of a career. I'm happy to be in them trenches with you. Um, I wouldn't want nobody else there but you, my guy, and the teams that we had. Stay blessed. You know we always found for life. 